Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to walk through the installation process for the MPC Touch. Before we start, make sure that you've downloaded the installer. Just visit www.akaipro.com slash MPC download. Log in or create a new user account and then register your MPC. You'll see the software download in your account after you've registered. As you can see, I've dragged the installation folder onto my desktop just to make things a little easier. Let's get started. For the purposes of this video, I'm using a Windows PC, but for you Mac users, the process is exactly the same, so you can follow along as well. Double click the installation file to run it. The first screen you see asks you to choose which MPC you're installing. Choose the MPC Touch. The next screen lists the installation steps. First, click Install MPC Software. This will install the MPC software to your computer. By default, the software will install both 32 and 64-bit versions of the VST and AAX plugin, as well as the MPC Expansion Builder. Simply uncheck any of the components that you don't want to install. Next, if you're installing the VST version of MPC, you need to select the folder where the plugin will be installed to. Choose whether you'd like to create a desktop icon or not, and click Next to begin the installation. Once the MPC software is installed, you'll be asked if you want to open it immediately. I'm going to uncheck that so that we can continue with the rest of the installation. As you can see, the first step has a green check mark next to it now. That means that it's done. Since the full install eventually requires you to restart your computer a few times, this list makes it easy to keep track of what step you're on. Let's install the audio MIDI driver by clicking the icon. After the audio and MIDI driver is installed, the computer needs to be restarted. Click OK. Say yes to the licensing agreement and continue the installation. Once it's completed, restart your computer. After you've restarted, open the installer again. Now we're going to install the driver for the touch interface. Click on Install Touch Driver. When prompted, click through to continue the installation. When you're done, Restart the computer. Next, we need to install the display driver. Click Install Display Driver. Now, this is very important. Please note that the Display Link Driver installer will ask you to attach a device. Please skip this step. We'll configure your MPC later on. So, even when the installer asks you to plug your display in, don't plug in the MPC yet. We're going to save that for the next step. So click the installation until you get to the first connect step. Connect your display link device to configure the display link graphics for first use. This is the step that we're going to skip. Once it's finished, restart. Now it's time to set up the MPC touch display. Open the installer and click configure screen. Click start. Now, make sure your MPC Touch is connected to its power supply and to your computer via USB, and power it on. Now, your computer is going to recognize the MPC Touch display as a desktop extension, just like having another monitor. If you ever use display mirroring, it's very important to disable that, or else the MPC Touch won't work properly. Once you're plugged in and powered on, click Switch Screen On Now. You'll see this little warning message reminding you to make sure everything is displayed properly after the screen turns on, so click Do It. This next screen asks you to confirm whether your screen is working or not. You may notice that it takes a little bit for your MPC screen to actually turn on, but this timer is here to let you know that if the screen doesn't come on within two minutes, it means something is going wrong. Something isn't connected properly. Once the screen is on and everything looks right, click yes, it looks great. If it doesn't come on, click no, there's a problem. And recheck your connections. This next screen gives you a choice as to how you'd like to use the MPC Touch Display when you don't have the MPC software open. You can use it as a desktop extender or only have it come on when you use the MPC software. You can choose either one, and I'm sure the community will find a lot of cool ways to utilize the screen outside of the MPC software, but I'm going to choose to use it only with the MPC software for now. And that's it! The MPC Touch is fully installed and configured. I hope you found this video helpful, and please leave your questions and comments in the section below. Thanks for watching, until next time.